Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu The Walking Dead, Episode 2. Ja, also von Season 2 natürlich. Ja, letztes Mal haben wir das erfahren, wie es weiterging nach der Sache mit Pete und Nick am Fluss. Nick hat überlebt, aber der Idiot, der hat sich einfach selbst geopfert. Er wollte sterben, glaube ich. Oh. Die anderen sind nach uns suchen gegangen, aber Luke ist scheinbar schon wieder zurück. Ich bin mir nicht ganz sicher, ob es wirklich Luke ist. Warum wird das nur so angedeutet, wie er hier langläuft? Das ist nicht Luke. Clem, ich denke, ich kenne ihn. Er kann mich nicht sehen. Du musst ihn weg machen. Oh Mann. Wer ist er? Ich weiß nicht. Nein. Clem, ich kann nicht atmen. Ich kann nicht atmen. Hallo? Äh, erstmal verschließen, oder? Ja, Anybody besser ist. Oh, oh. Hallo da. Äh. Ja, erstmal misstrauisch. Who are you? Well, actually I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Hmm. What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Hmm. Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure Stop. could pack a lot of folks in there. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and... I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. Uh -huh. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Leute, ich mag ihn nicht. Wir wissen, wer das ist. Das ist Kava, oder? Well, looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to 10 people with you. More. Hmm. Just passing through or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now, I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here and I already don't want to leave. Just passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. And I can't stand that Yankee weather. Who have you met going north? Oh, hell, a lot of folks. Anyone named Krista? No, not that I can recall. Is she a friend of yours? Ah, uh, Clem, das ist keine gute Idee. Where does this go? Um. Uh, in the drawer there. Das ist ein real nice place. Kind of cozy. Boah, jetzt hau endlich ab. Ich bin ein Typ, der immer Schürze wie das. Doktor. Real smug, son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What's his name? Carlos. Oh, Mann, Leute, der soll abhauen. Well, well. White's in trouble. 
Na, warum gehst du hoch? Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Und das glaubt er jetzt. Oh nee, komm schon. Told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Uh... What's your point? If people don't trust you, How can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Hmm. Ich glaube, der wollte uns nur verunsichern. Der weiß, was hier läuft. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Ich hätte mich erstmal vergewissert, dass er wirklich weg ist und die Tür abgeschlossen. Aber nur mal so. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? 
Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Das glaube ich ehrlich gesagt auch. We gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Oh, Leute, 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 das wird ja heiter werden, glaube ich, wenn die uns auf der Fährte sind. Was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey Clem, sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Sie scheint ja doch nicht verkehrt zu sein. That's where we were. Nick! Get the door. Oh man, hoffentlich geht es ihm jetzt doch noch einigermaßen gut. Ich meine, es wäre schade drum, es wäre sehr schade drum. Na, bist wieder bei deinem Whisky? Ich meine, wäre ja ein Zombie, würde nicht auf Zuruf reagieren. Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Ein Glück, sage ich mal. Ich hoffe nur, der wird uns nicht in Schwierigkeiten bringen. I just wanted to say, thanks for not giving up on me. Hm. I'm sorry about Pete. Yeah, thanks. Das klingt jetzt gemein, aber ich glaube, Pete hat es auch nicht geschafft. Mit dem Bein dann jetzt noch What laufen. Back there in that cellar? Can you do something stupid? Like you can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. Nick saved my life. Really? Yeah. Sort of. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start. And I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. But we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but... We look out for each other. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Ach, das wird schon, Leute. Besser als in der Hütte zu bleiben, glaube ich. Na gut. Aber Leute, das trifft sich sehr gut, dass jetzt eine Überblende kommt. Deswegen mache ich hier nochmal einen kleinen Cut. Wäre super, wenn ihr mir das Ganze ein bisschen vergütet, indem ihr mir ein Like gebt auf das Video. Würde mich sehr freuen und meine Arbeit ein bisschen versüßen, die ich hiermit habe. Ja, was mich auch sehr freuen würde, wenn ihr mir eure Meinung sagt bisher zum Kapitel 
zur Season 2, Episode 2. Und ja, ansonsten, wir sehen uns dann wieder nächstes Mal, wenn es wieder heißt The Walking Dead.